Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to talk about Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps is an application lifecycle management suite of tools that's available to anyone with either an Azure subscription or an Office 365 subscription. I go to dev.azure.com and I'd log in. I'm already logged in here so I don't have to. And I don't have any projects in this library, so I can create one right here on the main page. I'm going to give it a name, and I'll call it DG Test Project, and I could put a description in here if I wanted to. And then I select, is it private, meaning nobody can see it unless I explicitly invite them? Is it public, meaning anyone on the internet can see this, or is it available only to people within my enterprise? I'm going to make this one public although I'll probably delete it when this video is done. And it'll take a few seconds, but this project will be created and I'll be able to add items to it. There are a lot of different categories of items here, and I'll cover these in future videos, but right now I just want to talk about repositories. If I select Repos right here and Files, this will this is where you would see any files that are in this source code repository. The source code repository is a great way for saving copies of your, of your code and collaborating with, that, uh, with other people on that code. I can really quickly just add a readme. If I want to get something in here, I'll click on Initialize and add a readme. And then once I have this, I can clone it to my desktop if I want to and use Git tools to interact with it or I can um, simply edit it right here in the browser. So for example, this file right here, this readme file, it's, it's a markup file and has some, some kind of boilerplate sample text in it. But if I click on edit right here, I can change this and change that markup and replace this to do with, this is a sample readme file. I'm demonstrating how to use Azure DevOps repos. And like that, and then commit it. And in this case, I'll commit it directly to the master branch. And there we go. Now we've saved it, and my changes are in the repo directly. So in this simple video, I've shown you how to create a new project in Azure DevOps, uh, how to add a file repo to that, and to add and modify a file within that repo. This is David. Thank you for watching. <laughs>